Have you sacrificed another <laughs> chicken, Grandma? <laughs> I have. <laughs> Good morning. I'm Rose from Grandma Rose's Open Pantry, and I just boiled. I had some chicken legs in the freezer, and so I just boiled them, and I'm cutting them in just like chunks, bite-sized chunks. And I am going to make a, a chicken casserole today, and I'm going to make it with noodles. Uh, I'm making this for our son. Roy and I are going to eat something else. But uh, <clears throat> Mike's been under the weather some, so I thought this would just be a good comfort food uh, for him to have today. And these are not gluten-free noodles, so Roy and I, uh, we're not going to eat them. So, But I'm just making this for him. And I'm just making a small one. It'll, be, it'll probably last him a couple of days. So, all right, I've got my chicken boiled. Now, I've got uh, some noodles in uh, my pot back here that I have cooked just according to uh, the box direction. Okay, let me get a bowl out, baby. Because I'm going to mix all this in a separate bowl. Okay, and this is... Uh, Probably, well, I'll tell you in a second how many cups. It is four cups of cooked noodles. Now, it won't be four cups of uncooked noodles, but it's four cups of cooked noodles. So I would think probably two cups of uncooked noodles. And I want to show y'all today what you can use. If you don't have fresh onion, this is minced onion right here. They're dehydrated. So, uh, I've got fresh onions, but I just wanted to show you, if you don't have them, and you have some of these, how you can use these instead of fresh onion. Now, these are pretty, pretty strong, so I'm only going to use one tablespoon because I'm not doing a big casserole. If I was doing a bigger casserole, I'd use two tablespoons. All right. Now, I've already salted my chicken. I've already salted my... Uh, noodles and this is my homemade cream of chicken soup and it's already salted so i'm going to put that in and this is a half a cup right there all right now and she has a video on making that homemade yeah. mm -hmm. chicken and mushroom soup too and uh, that was pepper, just pepper to taste. I'm not going to put salt yet. I'll taste of it when I get through and see if I think it needs salt. And I may add some more cream of chicken soup because I want it kind of creamy. But I am going to add some uh, sour cream. So that's one tablespoon, about a fourth of a cup. So that's about a fourth of a cup right there. Of sour cream. That was a half a cup of cream of chicken soup, my homemade, and a fourth cup of uh, sour cream. Okay. Now to this, I'm going to add some mushrooms. Mike loves mushrooms, so I'm going to add some of those. Now this is a very easy, simple, simple ingredients of casserole. Delicious too. And because he needs some, a few greens, <laughs> he's a meat and potato man, so I flip green stuff in, green veggies in when I can. So that was like a fourth of a cup of English, the uh, English peas. So, uh, all right. And I think I may add a little bit more cream of chicken. I had already put it back in, I had already put it in the freezer. I keep my cream of chicken soup in the freezer and when I need it, I uh, need some, then I will thaw a little bit out. Okay, so that was a half a cup. So that was about two thirds cup of cream of chicken soup. And you can use the one in the can if you want to. This is just what I had. All right. Oh, that looks good. All right. Now, 
I am going to add my chicken. And I got a good bit of chicken in here. That's uh, three, three cups of cooked chicken. Okay. And I've got my oven set on 350. I'm going to put a little bit more sour cream. So that was about a third cup of sour cream. But I'll have all this down in the description box. And I am so thankful that y'all really pay attention. I had a girl the other day, and I was supposed to write her name down, and I didn't. Uh, but she was reading my recipe. She watched my video, then she re read my recipe. And she messaged me, and she said, uh, in your video, you put cream cheese and something else, an egg. I think it was an egg. She said, but it wasn't listed in your, uh, in your recipe. So I went back and watched my video, and she was exactly right. So I went back, and I edited my recipe, and I added it in. So... That really helps me when y'all do things like that because I have so many things on my mind sometimes till uh, I just, I leave things out. Especially when I'm making up a recipe and don't write it down. <laughs> That's when that usually happens. Like this morning, this is just something I'm putting together. So when I get through here, I'm going to have to go write it, everything down so I won't miss it. Or either I'll re I'll watch my video and jot it down as I'm doing it. Okay. All right. This is going in a casserole dish. My oven just came up to temp. Now this is just easy. It's simple. It's ingredients that you already have, I'm sure. And it's delicious too. I'll tell you but that before a, we even taste of it. Yeah. It is a very good, now you can add other things to yours if you want to, but Mike's more of a simple, he doesn't like a lot of seasonings, he doesn't like, he just likes plain, and so I'm making his just kind of plain. He does like mushrooms though. All right, now this is, uh, I took some butter, melted it, and this is a little uh, Ritz crackers and uh saltines that i mixed together and crushed and i'm just gonna put them on top and like i say i'm not having to be gluten free or anything else this morning so i'm making this full power all right perfect look at that isn't that pretty okay that looks good this is going in a 350 degree oven for probably 30 minutes because everything in it is already done. I just want all my flavors to blend. So be back in about 30 minutes. Okay, y'all. Our casserole is ready. And Roy gets his feelings hurt if I don't let him, if I don't let him get on camera sometimes. <laughs> and he just found out if you open a hot oven door, your glasses will fog up. So he's taking our chicken uh casserole out of the oh my goodness Isn't look that at that oh who man. said i wasn't a good casserole taker out of <laughs> you are baby you are i've got a lot of talents you just don't give me much time to shine i just didn't want his feelings hurt this morning so <laughs> all right he's he's gonna uh take some out and we're gonna give it a minute to cool because i mean it is oh it's hot it's gonna get him a little bit out I like these crispy crumbles you've got here. Mm-hmm. Oh, is... All right, he's fixing to burn his mouth up. She didn't know I was going to dip, or she'd have given me a bigger spoon. I would have. She, she, she just <laughs> gnawed on my ear, breaking it out of her casserole dish like a man would do. But. This is Mike's casserole. Chicken and noodle casserole. Mm. I'm going to have to eat about 60 more spoonfuls <laughs> to taste of it, darling. Mm. Is it Ooh, good? That's good. 
I'm going to zero in on it. Mm -hmm. mm, okay. That was wow. good. All right, baby. Oh, that's good. That's great. Okay. Mm -hmm. You got to close it out. What do you say? Food feeds the family. Family feeds the heart. Mm -hmm. And God feeds the soul. Yep. And y'all have a wonderful day. And Rose really, along with myself, enjoy cooking and seeing y'all every day.